Hello, Araceli. Can you hear me, Araceli? Hello, teacher. Okay, hold Hello, on. teacher. Can you hear me? Hmm. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Yes. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. And how are you, Araceli? Hello, teacher. Hello, Araceli. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right, good. Are you okay, Araceli? Hello. Are you okay? Okay. Christian, Ronald, and Helen, can you hear me? Hi. Hi, teacher. Very good. Hello. Good How was your... For everyone. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. It's good to see you again. How was your day? Hello, teacher. Hello. I can hear you, Araceli. Yes, teacher. All right, good. So how was your day, people? How was your day? It was good, teacher. All right, good, good. Did you do anything? Uh, in particular? Uh, no, the same proce procedure. <laughs> okay, the same procedure. Okay. So, all right. So, things are it, very, it, very... It work and sleep. Okay. It work and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and you're working from your home, Ronald? Uh, today, I went to my office. But I try to to work in my in my in my home. All right, good, good. All right, so yeah, things are very different for for everybody now. You know, things are people are working in different ways, different styles. So we have to adapt to this new change. When you work at home, you you need to do other activities. Right. Sometimes uh, I look like a housekeeper, house, okay. housekeeping, uh -huh. housekeeper, portero, housekeeping. Okay, so you do a lot of housekeeping, a lot of cleaning. Yeah. You okay. are an esperancito. Yeah, like uh -huh. esperancito. Who is esperancito? <laughs> Who is esperancito? Who is esperancito? Esperancita. Es una broma. Esperancito oh. eh, is like a, a, a maid. How do, say, how do you say in English? Eh, tipo mandilón. Oh. No. Oh. no. Because my girlfriend eh, eh, tell me that, hey, Ronald, you need to dish the wash the dishes and you you're very cook. obedient yeah i am a good <laughs> man <laughs> excellent <laughs> okay that that's a uh, every woman's uh dream to have a uh, an obedient man yeah someone that can listen to instructions and everything after so, that i i i she give me a uh, some present Okay. And yeah. maybe it, it it will be Friday. She she buy it me some beers to oh. share with her. <laughs> that's that's your payment. Yes. Good. All right. Good. 
All right, so what is today's date, people? It's Thursday, in August. Thursday, August 13th. What? 13th. 13th. Now, uh, remember, the difference between 13 and vigésimo tercero in English is the TH at the end. So I have $13 in my pocket, 13. But if you talk about the date, you need to use ordinal numbers. So you're supposed to say 13th. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. Usually that's the only difference between cardinals and ordinals, the TH at the end. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about yesterday. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Do you remember the topics? Do you? Mm -hmm. Mercy, are you better? Are yes, you better? I'm better. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, so what topics do we... expressions. Okay, transition expression. Which transition expressions? First, after that. Um, right. Uh, then, finally. Okay, yes. And, and what is the function of those transition words? What's the function? Connect phrases or sentences. Right. So if I ask you, what did you do yesterday? You said, uh, I went to work. Uh, I ate lunch. I returned to my house. I went to the supermarket and then I returned. So the, the, the message is clear. The idea is there. But if you want to be uh, complete, if we can call it like that, when you're speaking the language, you should say, well, first I woke up, then I took a shower. After that, I went to work. Then on my way back, I stopped the supermarket. And finally, I arrived home. So uh, like Helen says, those transitions words are used to connect and explain the sequence of events. So, and they are easy to be used. They're not, uh, they're not difficult. So uh, which three are synonyms? So you have first, then, next, after, finally. Which, which three are synonyms? Do you remember the ones that are considered to be synonyms? Mm -hmm. So let, let me write it in the chat. So you have first, then, after, after, after uh-huh. Then, final. Okay, first, then, after, what is another one? Next. Uh-huh. Next. Next. You can also include it later. Later. And, and what is the name of the last one? Finally. Is, finally. Exactly. Very good. So if you're going to start with a process, you need to say first. When you finish a process, you need to say finally. So this right here, then, after, next, and later, they are considered to be synonyms. So, and that is not the, the form that you're supposed to be using and when you speak. You can say first, after, next, then, finally. So you can change positions when you're using them because they are they have exactly the same meaning. Okay. Um, what else did we do? What else did we talk about? Mm -hmm. Do you remember the other topics that we covered? Uh-huh. 
How do you say recordatorio in English? Reminder. Reminder. So I have a reminder that in your screen, your name is supposed to be complete. So if I were a part of the audience, I would be Francisco Jose Marroquín Bardales. So I have to write my complete name. So, so when you have the chance, please change it. Uh, because we might have two Jimmys in the class or two Christians or two Fernandos, two Magdalena. So it's, it's better to have a complete name. All right. Uh, do you have any questions about yesterday? Oh. No. Okay. So going back to the same. Um, mm -hmm. Let me, let me go. Where is this? Let me see this here. Give me a second. Give me a second. My goodness, hold on. Where is that thing at? I'm sure. Share. Teacher, can I ask you something? Yes, please. Uh, it's not related to the class. No problem. Ask me. <laughs> uh, you were a uh, military. Um, not really. But um, I was in the, as a civilian, I was in the Air Force for two years. Okay. But I was never a, a, a military. Okay. Yes. Why, why, why that question? Uh, you uh, look like a military. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I, I teach in the military school too. Nah, the, the truth is that I saw something in your screen, Escuela Militar, that I, I oh. think. Oh, <laughs> I'm a teacher there too. Okay. Yes. Man, where is this thing? Let me see if this is the one. But where is, give me a second. All right, right here. Okay, can you see the screen? Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, can you hear that? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so just pay attention to it. How was your day yesterday? Well, first, I woke up early at 7 o'clock. After that, I went to school. Then, I did my homework. Next, I ate burger with my friends. Finally, I slept at 9 o'clock. Oh, you had a busy day. Oh, yes, but it was fun. All right. Do you remember the events they mentioned? Do you remember what they said? Yes. Okay, what is the first thing that he did yesterday? Okay, I will play it one more time and take notes. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. How was your day yesterday? Well, first, I woke up early at 7 o'clock. After that, I went to school. Then, I did my homework. Next, I ate burger with my friends. 
Finally, I slept at nine o'clock. Oh, you had a busy day. Oh yes, but it was fun. Okay. So, what is the first activity that they mentioned? How many activities did you write? How many activities did you copy? First, she Four. woke up early. Okay. What is the other one? Went to the school. Okay. Number three. She ate uh, a, ham a hamburger. Okay. That is number four. Okay. Uh, he did his homework. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Did homework. Exactly. And what was the last one? Uh, go to the go to bed at 9 p.m. Okay, good. All right. So this is what I want you to do. I will assign you to work in pairs. So remember, number one, the person woke up early. Number two, the person went to school. Three, she did homework. Uh, number four, uh, they, he made a hamburger. And number five, he slept. What time did he go to sleep? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. So this is what I want you to do. Similar to this, I want you to mention five things that you guys did yesterday. So first, after, then, next, and finally. So let me break up rooms. Seven, create rooms. All right, and here we go. Talk about what you did yesterday, but use the sequence after. First, after, then, next, and then finally. Let's go. Loading, loading, loading. or your star? Ladies first. Okay. <laughs> what a gentleman. <laughs> yes. Well, yesterday I woke up at 7 a.m. I ate a breakfast, pancakes. Then I get a shower. Got a shower, right? Okay, I took a shower. I took a shower. After that, I went to my home, to my work, and at 4 p.m. I came to my home again. Mm. Uh -huh. it first, I, and head up at, as I get up at 7 a.m. Yeah. Okay, what is the past tense of get up? Okay. What is the Me past levanto. tense? Okay, but, but uh, in past. Uh, in past, um, got up, got up, got up, okay. I got, got up. up, yes, got Yo up. Me levanté okay. Please, exactly. I got up at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, first, I got up, yeah, pa I past tense. Up. So, first, I, I got up, I got up, yes, good, well, yeah. Like I yes. wake up at, hello teacher. Hi. Hello teacher. Hello, how are you guys doing? Okay. Very good. Nice. Uh, this activity is about real activity, real. Yes, yeah, uh, real events, real events. Events, thank you. Yes. Real uh -huh. events, okay. 
So it's easier for you because when you remember something that really took place, it's easier to remember. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, next. I, I, What do you want to say, Jimmy? Sorry, teacher. Uh, what is the word that you need? What word do you need? ¿Qué trabajo yo necesito? No, ¿qué, qué palabra necesita? Word. Ah, okay. I, yo, eh, yo desayuno. I, desayuno, I, 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 I eat still. breakfast. I eat I, breakfast. I eat breakfast. Yes. I eat breakfast. Now remember, the past I tense of eat is ate. So after I ate breakfast. After. Okay. Or then or later, I ate breakfast. Okay. Yes. Or and the lunch for my husband. Um then Next, I, I take a shower and... What is the past tense of take, Maria? Hola. The past tense of take? Took. Took, exactly. So I took a shower. Okay, I took a shower. Uh-huh. <laughs> um... Ah, oh, the third Hi, oh, Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Christian. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. Uh, the third thing is I dress up. Mm -hmm. Then I dress up. I got dressed. I, I got dressed. Yes. Ah, okay. Because vestirse, you say get dressed. So you say I get dressed in less than five minutes. So the past tense of get is got. So, yo me so after I got dressed. Uh, okay. Yes. In the, how do you say em, environment? Well, how, environment. Uh -huh. El clima laboral? Uh, yeah, environment, work environment. Ah, uh, okay. Working? Work environment. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. You can also bad. say... Yeah, you can also say atmosphere. The work atmosphere is good. Mm, okay. So environment or atmosphere, the two are good. Okay. Y eh, antes de, o también. Irme al trabajo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. O sea, digamos, yo me levanto a las seis, va. I wake mm -hmm. up at six. Ajá, ajá. I wake up at six p.m. Entonces... <laughs> Pero para decir, after then, I went to talk a uh, walk, no, a uh, dogs a walk. Uh, you, you go to work at, at 8 p.m. What time did no? you go to work, Magdalena? ¿Cómo? What time did you go to work? Um, a, 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 AM. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes, ask me. Uh, Rocio uh, asked me something, and now I am the same. Duda? Situation. Doubt. Both. So, okay. okay. Doubt. Uh -huh. About I wake up or I woke up? Uh, if you're talking in general, you say, well, a typical day in my life, I wake up at six in the morning. But, okay. excuse me, if you're talking about something that already happened, you say woke up. Woke up. Yes. W-O-K-E. Yeah. E, okay. Yes. Oh, thank and then you. space and then you up. up. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. Thank All you. All right. Good. Thank you.
फिर आई ग्रैब आर सेविंग ये एक्सेक्यूटिव बैंक एक्सेक्यूटिव एंड डिफरेंट इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड the different from yes me okay after that the i review the emails the different from and yeah. after that i review the emails the different executive bank okay uh. from different bank executives okay bank executives bank executives very good very good bank executives for for your husband them to a shower next going to the world and finally learn english yeah no 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 it's not really important the the order which 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 one are you talking about christian the the order with that let me see uh, the order to um, the sequential verbs okay for example first and and finally they are all see, same place but they are okay uh -huh. they after that next um later and the others no no it no is they're very no, important there is For example, not first after then later so when you start a, a, a conversation you start with first when you finish you you finish with finally yes the ones that are finally. between they can be switched to different positions because they are synonyms so you can say first i took oh, okay. a shower then i ate breakfast after i got in the car and later i went to work next But, later yeah so oh, then okay. next later or later then after so it's uh, they are synonyms so okay, they can be perfect. used in different positions right excellent excellent uh, very good very good get the first to receive all the things he wants hi teacher hi how are you we don't know. fine and you huh? Good, I'm doing okay. I had a good day today. Well, I always have a good day. <laughs> yes. Wendy, where is your office? Where are you located? Um, no me puedo la dirección es en inglés, pero están hay varias sucursales. Okay. Eh, la que se conoce más es la que está ubicada por en frente del shopping center que se quemó del Salvador del Mundo. Uh, Subiendo la Alameda Roosevelt arriba del edificio de Litfa. Ok, ajá, ajá. Okay. Ese es computadoras y partes. Okay. El área corporativa está el edificio de Bandesal de la 51 Avenida Sur, como uh -huh. que se va para la 49. Yep. Ese es el área corporativa y bodegas. Y eventos está ubicada en la colonia San Benito. Ok. But you mentioned yesterday that uh, you sell uh, medical equipment. Yes, it's the new branch, the company, eh, como que creo la nueva, la nueva marca. Okay, and, 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 and where is this office? Where is that, the one with medical supplies? No hay como una sucursal, sino oh. que se ha distribuido en en las dos oficinas, tanto en Gavidia, que es la que está enfrente del shopping center, y en la bodega, donde almacenamos todo. What is the name of the company? STV. S-T-V. 
T, B. Okay, B as on Victor. No, B as a boy. Okay, B as in boy. So S as in uh, Sonia, T as in Tango, B mm -hmm. as in boy. Yes, computer S A D C B. Okay, good. Because I, I'm interested in buying some gloves. And I think that the price that you offer is, is really good. Mm -hmm. So I will. Um, and I, we have the service, uh, delivery service, uh, or Picango. Okay. And Gavidia. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. So uh, I, I usually go to San Salvador every day, and sometimes I pass near uh, Itfa, Salvador del Mundo, and all those places. Mm -hmm. So if I have the time, I will, I will stop by and get me some gloves. Yes, you only have to write to me and I prepare your pedido. Package, uh -huh. Uh -huh. order. Your package, uh -huh. Good, very good. All right, so I will contact you when you least expect it. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go back. You, you. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Lo está así entre, entre cortado. Myself? Or Luis? Bob. Uh, on me. Ah, uh, Bob. Uh, I, I hear you. Uh, or Luis. I hear you perfectly. Okay, so what were you saying? What were you talking about? Mm -hmm. Did you guys finish with the conversation? Oh, ahora sí, le Yes, teacher. We are, we All right. Are finished. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Perfect. All right. So who wants to volunteer and share the activities you did yesterday by using first, then, after, next, and finally? Volunteer. Only hey, one. Teacher. Yes, please. Okay. First, I get up at 7 a.m. Okay. After that, I have breakfast. Then I go to then I go to work. Next, I go on the workspace. Finally, get get home at 6 p.m. Okay, good. Now, is that general or is it about yesterday, Fernando? Is it general? Mm, it, it general, teacher. Okay, the, good. Uh, Monday, Monday and from Friday. Okay, from Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. Good. Yeah, teacher. Good. Now, the reason why I was asking, when the information is general, you can perfectly use the, the verbs in, in, in base form, in, in present tense. So, very good. Another volunteer, please. Another volunteer. Yes. Me, sure. All right, please. Well, yesterday I woke up early. Okay. And then I took a shower. And after that, I remember that I got dressed. And uh, besides that, uh, I prepared my breakfast. And finally, I went to my bed around midnight. Okay, good. Nice and simple. Someone else? Another volunteer? Another volunteer? Okay, so Wendy let me... Teacher. Okay, please, Wendy. <laughs> First, I woke up early at 6 a.m. And later, I take a shower and I get dressed. After that, I turn, I go to my work and turn on my computer and check all my emails. Then I answer all the messages from the fanpage. And finally, I go, 
I go home at 5.30 p.m. Good, very good, nice. So, nice. Anybody else wants to practice? Magdalena, Mercy, Luis, Jimmy, Araceli, someone else, someone else. Araceli, I can't hear you. We cannot hear you, Araceli. Hello. All right. Now we can hear you, Araceli. Okay. First, I get up 5 a.m. Okay. Then I go to work 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. Okay. After that, I check the emails, different bank executives. Good. Then I review the fair financial reports. Financial reports, good. After then, after that, I, I take a lunch, 1 p.m. Good, good. Next, I, re I register in the system the new staff. Okay. Fa Finally, I go to my house. Good, very good, nice, good. So, you know, everybody's doing it nice and easy and, and simple, so that is, that's really good. All right, so let me show you one last video. Let me see this here, this one here, share. Uh -huh. And here we go. Can you hear the video? Yes. All right. Assalamu alaikum and welcome. This lesson is about sequencing words. It is for pre intermediate level students. Sequencing words are words that help us understand the order of events that are happening. Here are some of the most common sequencing words. Listen to this story. I brush my teeth. I go to class. I drive to university. I get a coffee. I wake up. Do you think this story was in the right order? We use sequencing words. Okay, the, the men's question says, do you think the story was in the correct order? No. No? Okay. It's to show the order in which things happen. Sequencing words include first, next, then, after that, and finally. Now, let's put the story we heard a few minutes ago in the right order. Which one comes first? Okay, which one comes first? Brush the teeth, go to class, drive to university, have coffee, or wake up? Wake, wake, up. Up. wake up. Okay, what is number two? First is wake up. Okay. Brush, first, brush his teeth. Okay, brush his teeth. What is number three? Drive yes. to uh, university. Okay, drive to university. What's the other one? Got a coffee? Maybe, mm -hmm. get, get some coffee. Oh, and finally? Drive, drive to the university. Okay, so what happens first? Do you go to class or do you drive to university? Drive to university. Right, right. so first you drive to university and when you arrive, you go, you go to mm -hmm. class. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, any questions about the two videos, ladies and gentlemen? No. Okay. So let me. Now, where is this? Where is this? Where is this? So let me.
Where is the book? second. Right here. Okay, so please go to page 20 of your book. Let me see this here. Page 20, where are you, where are you? 15, 17, 19, and 20. Okay, can you see the, the, the book? Yes. Okay, yes. so yesterday we read this. So we read this as an example. So you use first, after that, afterwards, then and finally. So remember, when you start a sentence or an explanation, you always have to start with first. When you finish the instruction or the explanation, you have to finish with finally. Now, between first and finally, we have after that, afterwards, then, but those three are synonyms. So you can perfectly say first, afterwards, then and after that. So these three right here, they can be placed in any position that you want because they are exactly synonyms. So um, let's do part six. Give me a second. Group 18, group 18. Right here. Okay, so um, I will assign you to work in pairs. Some of you guys were working with in triads, but now we have enough people to make them work in pairs. So I will assign, okay, add a room. So eight, nine, and 10, eight, nine, and 10. Move two, eight. Move to eight. Move to nine. Move to nine. Move to one. And here comes the tricky part. Exchange with him, exchange with her, and exchange with him. Here we go. Complete the exercises with filling the blanks. Two, four, six,
an, effect, an effective training manual. I understand that we just have to complete the blanks. Only, yes. Uh, only complete the, the yeah, sentence. Yeah, uh, only complete the blanks, exactly. The content and write it in modules or chapters. You can put it here afterward. Like to improve in your company. Then. I, I use after that. Mm. After that, it is necessary to write the content and divide in a model of chap chapters. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question about- Yes, Helen. Um, and pronunciation. Okay. Uh, in the- after the first comma and choose the pros processes processes okay yes processes, processes. yes okay that's my question thank you teacher. okay good and the last exactly. finally, finally, and finally the manual and imprinted yes okay we don't teacher okay right Es parecido al que acabamos de hacer. Ok, teacher. Yes, sir. Only exercise number six. Uh, or right number seven. Now, no, ok, uh, we will do number seven in a few minutes. So, uh, ok. Let me see. Yeah, because number six is very simple to do. So, yes. the time is 8.15. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can you can do part seven too. Let me write it in the chat. Okay, uh, teacher. All right. Yeah. So continue with uh, number, the number seven. Number seven. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me... Create a ten line paragraph describing a project you must follow in your WordPress. Use transition after. Description from the box. Mm. Finally, revise the manual and printing. Yes, that is that is correct. Hi, teacher. Hello. Are you guys finished with uh, with exercise six? Did you finish exercise six? No. Not yet. Not, not yet for a moment. So okay, all right. Right. Okay, no problem. 
Yes, requirement. requirement. Okay, fear. I, I fear. Fear send a requirement. Uh, I send. I send a requirement. Recruitment. Recruit. Recruitment. Recruitment. Yeah, recruitment. I send okay. recruitment. Yes. For 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 the company. Okay. Okay. Um. Is that Italy, Jimmy? On your back. Is sorry? that Italy? Italy. Italy. Yeah, Italy. The, the map. The map. The map on the wall. Uh huh. The map on the wall. The wall. El cuadro que está atrás de usted. Ah, sorry. Yes. Italy. Yes. Have, have you visited Italy before, or do you have family in Italy? Um, the friends. Friends, you have friends. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, maps are, are, are cool. I like maps. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. okay. After. Mm -hmm. Yes. Samuel. Uh, and Samuel lives with my brother. Mm. You live with your brother, Christian? I live with my man. Where? My my brother lives in Sacamil. Oh, okay. My brother, my big brother. Okay. My big brother lives in, in Sacamil. But he's from Santana too? Yes. Okay, all your family is from Santana? No, no, the... Uh, for my... For my mother lives in Santa Ana. Okay. For my father lives in San Salvador. Okay. It's All a right. large history. <laughs> I imagine. Yes. Magdalena, where do you live? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a large history. Yes. A long yes. story. In Sacamil, teacher. Oh, Sacamil. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe you are neighbors with uh, with Christian's brother. Um, no, I'm, I live uh, in my family. Okay. Uh, my two sons and my husband. Okay. And my dog. Okay. What part of Sacamil do you live in? Um, uh, uh, the, What's uh, the name? Hos hospital uh, is... Second. Okay, yeah, <laughs> the the is, uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. and, and where does your brother live, Christian? My brother lives near to Merkel. The, to the market? The, el, Mercado. Uh, the Super Selectos. Oh, the uh -huh. supermarket. The Mercado, Super Selectos. Supermarket. Supermarket. Okay. All right. Yes, near lives my brother. Yeah, that's like two blocks maybe. It's the distance is it's not long. The distance is short between your brother and Actually, my brother. I have problems with my internet. No, I don't. Yes. I can see. It. See, okay. um, short distance. Uh huh. Uh, five minutes. Exactly. Or or, or less. Uh -huh. Less. Less. Five minutes or less. Yes, it's only like two blocks. Yeah. Uh, I lie um, para decir que no en un edificio, sino en la casa, en una casa. I live in a house, not in, in a an house. apartment. No, okay. Okay. And Mercy, where do you live, Mercy? Mercy, can you hear me? I guess not. Okay, did you guys finish no, part, teacher, part Mercy seven? No, and, and me. You're having yes, part teacher. seven? Yes, teacher. All right. Did you finish part seven? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, good. Let's, let's return. Okay.
All right. Did you guys finish part seven? Yes, teacher. Yes, Rocio. I have doubt. Uh -huh. uh, it is confused for me uh, afterward, then, and after that. Okay. I know that it's synonymous, but uh, in that, in different case, uh, how to use for the... the oh. To mm -hmm. explain the sequence, it's, it's very simple because just like you said, they are synonyms. So you can start with next, after, then. Or if you want, then, after, uh, then, after, later, if you want. So they are synonyms and you can use them in the position that you prefer. So there is mm -hmm. no specific rule to say, oh, first you have to use then, and then later, and then after. There is no rule because they are synonyms. So you can use them any way you want. Whatever I want. Yeah, any way that you want, yes. Uh, so uh, so, so for, for that explanation, you know, it's very simple because they are synonyms. So you use them uh, any way that you prefer. Uh, Thank you, teacher. Yeah. I'm really confused, but no, I, I know. Sure, sure. All right, let's return to the main session. Okay. okay. All right, all right, all right. Let me see. All right. Um, so what is the answer for the first blank? What is the first word that you use in that exercise? Uh -huh. first. 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 First, you have to complete analysis of the training needs of your employees yeah. and choose the processes you would like to improve your company. What is next? After that. After, After that. that comma. Then, then, later, oh. it is necessary to write the content and divide it in modules or chapters. Then, then, after, after that, you need to select a manual style and decide if extra digital content is necessary. What is the last word that you have there? Finally. 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 Very good. Nice. Okay, so let me see, where is your, okay, here I have your names. So let me, uh, Sophia Stephanie. Sophia Stephanie. Okay. Uh, Fernando Arturo. Present teacher. Okay. Coralia. Present. Oh, good. Ronald. Present. Good. Katia Marcela. Present. Very good. Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Very good. Uh, Christian Alexander. Present. Good. Uh, Josué Edgardo. Josué Edgardo. Okay. Uh, Jimena Alexandra. Uh -huh. Samuel Rosales. Present. Okay. Uh, Rocío Berenice. Present teacher. Very good. Mercy Carolina. Present. Very good. Anna Araceli. Present. Good. Teacher. Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Very good. Helen Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Is she absent? Helen. No, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Luis, where's Luis? Present teacher. Yes, all right, good. Uh, Stephanie Montano? She's absent. Uh, Christian Omar? 
present. Okay, good. Uh, Wendy Guadalupe? Present. And Magdalena? I'm here, teacher. Yes, right there. Okay, good. So, any questions about our last exercise? No? No, teacher. Okay, were you able to finish part seven? Did you finish part seven? I wrote in the chat, I wrote, do part seven as well, please. Create one paragraph for the two of you, only one. Did you finish part seven? Or do you need more time? Okay, uh, a volunteer to read the instructions in part seven. Volunteer to read. Mm -hmm. Write a ten line. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Write a ten line paragraph where you describe a process you have to follow in your workplace. Okay. Transition expression from the book. Okay, so I have three, six, nine, two, da, da, da. Okay, you guys are going to be working in triads. Uh, when I make the groups of three, you will decide who will have to write the, the process that you need to follow at work. So you can raffle, you can say, the, I don't know, but only one paper for, uh, one paragraph for people, for, per group. Okay, Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie's here. Stephanie Montano? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So are the instructions clear? You guys are going to be working in groups of three. One person has to write uh, the 10 line paragraph, but you can work alone or you can work, uh, uh, you can help the other person to create the paragraph. So imagine if I'm working with Wendy, Christian, uh, we decide who's going to do the writing, but the other two, they need to give ideas to create one uh, procedure. Are the instructions clear? Yes. Okay. All right, so let me, so I will have, Go to five, move to five, and move to five. Then I will go to move to number six, move to number six. And move to number six. Now she will go to eight. She will go to nine. And move to four. Move to four. Three. Three, 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 two. Okay, and I will have two people working in. Move to one. And move to four. Okay, here we go. Samuel.
Mercy. Mercy, mercy, I will send you to... Are you feeling better today, Mercy? Yes, I feel better. Good, good. Thank you. That's but I good. have a lot of problems with my internet. Okay. Don't worry, it happens to everybody. Sometimes I have problems here too. So I will send you to room six. You will be working with Coralia, Jimmy, and Rocio. So, do you usually yeah. do you usually suffer okay. migraine, Mercy? Perfect. Do you usually suffer migraine? I don't know what is my migraine. Migraine, uh, migraña. Oh, yes. Okay. I had that problem since the last year. Since the last year. Is is there medicine uh, yes. for for migraine? Uh once I went to the to the hospital but they told me that I have the frequency cardiac. I don't know how to say. Okay, yeah, the, the frequency. So did they give you uh, medicine that time? Okay, so we can do a, a procedure procedure about okay. Okay, let me do you yeah, want okay. to say do you want to say something, Anara Selly? Can you hear us? Hello? I no, he can hear us. I think she has audio problems. Yes. Crash cars. Crash car. Okay. First, I look free, at... Free, 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 we see the pu uh, publication on social networks. Yes. Or can be yes. with a, a person that buy on Copart. Documentos. To check yes. the documents that they send you. Yes. Okay. After that, he check. No, 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 no. No. After that, yo recibo los documentos. Oh, yeah. I receive the documents. I receive the documents. I receive mm -hmm. the documents. Uh huh. And after that, I check all the documents. Okay. Temperatura, ¿cómo está utilizada ahí temperatura? Temperature. Temperature. Yes, temperature. I I my check in. Check my check my my check in. Oh oh oh. Mm, I don't know how to say it. What do you Teacher. want to say, Magdalena? Um, eh, que chequeo mi uh -huh. hora de entrada. Okay, I check I in. My, 
Ajá, o sea. I check in. I ch no, 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 no repito check. O sea, no, chequeo no. solo de un solo. I check in. I check in, exactly. Ah, ok. Uh, is correct, I might check in. I check in. Ah, ok. I check in. Three words. Yeah. I check in. Mm -hmm. Yes. H how Thank do you, you check in, Magdalena? Do you use uh, your finger? Do you sign? Or how I'm, do you... And my hands. With your hands, uh, with your finger? Uh -huh. No, complete. Oh, your complete hand. Complete hands. Uh -huh. Okay, good, good. All right. Play you, have a, you have a big garden, I, I see. Sorry, what? You have a, 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 a big garden. Ah, yes. I have a lot of tree and ornamental plants. Okay. Where, where do you live, Wendy? Mexicanos. What part of Mexicanos? Um, I live in the principal street. Uh, for... Moran. No. Mande? No, 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 no. View no. For Calle Mariana. El punto okay. De la doja. Okay, okay. Yeah, it looks like a big house. Yes. <laughs> Good. I need space in my house. <laughs> uh, we have uh, chickens, dogs, uh -huh. and a lot of tree and avocados, avocados, mangoes, mangoes. avocados, mangoes, and I don't know how to say guayas. Guavas. 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 Uh -huh. And and lemon tree. Oh, Persian or Indio? Indio. Okay, good. It's more delicious than Indio. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the Persian lemon is dry. It has nothing. So, no, but the Indio is like a, you going to push, and he has a lot of juice. Juice, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, good. If we are in the precious old class, I'm going to give us. Oh, good, very good. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> so we can make lemonade and make uh, some, uh, what is the name of that dish where you prepare with, with avocado? Uh, guacamole. Guacamole, yeah, guacamole, yeah. Yes, in May we, is the season? It's the season for the avocado, and all day we eat avocado. Uh, avocado, good, good. Yeah, avocado is delicious. <laughs> yes, we have uh, almost three different avocados. Okay, so different types of avocados. Yes. Good, good. Araceli, do you like avocados? I, I don't think she can hear me. Samuel, do you like avocados? Yes, I like avocados. 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 <laughs> Samuel is tired. Uh, what happened with you? Are you tired? You feel tired? Yes, I think that I I will be sick. Really? You don't no, feel I well? Feel, no, I don't feel very well. Uh, <laughs> I feel with with temper temperature. Really? Yeah, okay. I don't I don't know how do you say cuál es esa palabra que uno no tiene calentura. Ah, flu. Flu. Irritated. Irritated. Yeah. Okay. I feel irritated. All right. And he do you have a, a headache? No, I think that I have, I, I usually have problems with my, uh, how do you say, amygdala? Uh, tonsils. Tonsils. Yes, tonsils. I, I always have problems with my tonsils. Uh, and I, I get wet from the rain. And oh. yesterday, or I don't know, the, the day before yesterday, it was raining very fast, and the canaleta was blocked, so I had to to get wet to... to remove. To remove the, the block. Okay. So, 
I think that I will be sick for the for for flu. Okay. All right. Yeah. So so you have to take good care of yourself. Yes, I I took a shower before that. Uh, after that, sorry, but <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I took a shower before after, after that, but it. I think that it. Maybe I was with my defense low, so the. I don't know if you can hear me. I my voice is like a like a scratchy. Uh huh. So, so like I, a robot. Yes. Drink so, a lot of water. I always drink. I have my my bottle here. Okay, good, good. But, other, op other option is tequila. Oh yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Tequila so, is very so, effective. Some wise advice is like uh, you are like this. Uh, my grandparents say that is uh, falta mujer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> uh, arrivals. Okay. Uh, so when where it says I dial my attendance. Let me see this here. You're supposed to say I sign in or I check in. I sign in or I check in. Assembles. Assembles. Uh -huh. Assembles. A-S-S-E-M-B-L-E-S. -E -S. Exactly. So, the chef, y la traducción me sale, el chef prepara la comida. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Did you finish your writing? No. Not no, yet. teacher. Not yet. Project. Okay, so let me. Room five, room six. A few more minutes, teacher. Okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. The documents for make the correct. For make the correct comma. Or for edit. For edit. Okay. The document for make. Uh, for edit? Where? Where are we? Uh, uh, delete. Uh, may, make the. Correct. Make the correct. Mm -hmm. For edit. I don't know. Oh, it, 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 okay. Um, send him. What what is the word you're you're writing right now? Uh, okay, uh, you can say pending errands pending. and pending errands. Pending errands. Okay. How much more time do you need?
N. I N. Napkin. Napkin. Is double P or only one? Only one. Okay. Like. Only have a phone. Hi, teacher. We done. Okay, you're done. Okay. Yes. Sir. I was going to ask you that. Yes. How do you say uh, datos, but in English, like cell phone datos, I don't know how to say it. Uh, you can say data and some other people say data. So the two, the two uh, possibilities are good, data or data. Uh, but it's, it's relacionated to, to cell phone data? Yeah, okay. yeah. Cell phone data, cell phone data. So the two options are good. Okay, okay, thanks. All right. <laughs> All right, so I think, are you guys finished already? Yes, finish. All right, let's go back to the yes, main session. Welcome back, welcome back. Okay, did you guys um, finish the, writing the story? Did you finish writing your um, lines about a process? Yes. Okay. May I have one volunteer to read what you do at your work? Only one. Who said yes? Was it Maria, Coralia, Helen? Who said In yes? Helen. Okay, Helen, can you share? Okay, we did a, a procedure about a, a restaurant, specifically specifically with the with the waiter. With okay. The waiter. Okay. Okay. First, I check in at six a.m. After that, I go to the locker to save my bag or other things. Then I go to the restaurant to clean the area and the tables. Later that, I prepare the buffet with fruits, milk, and cereal. After that, um, the chef assembles the food or the main dishes in the buffet. Afterward, I have to be focused on the customers because they will need, they may need coffee or some other things like a napan or a tea. After that, I have to clean again all the area, wash the dishes, and I finally check out and go home. Good, very good. Nice and clear, good. Someone okay. else, another volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. Uh huh. Who was the group that was doing the the process about sanitizing? H how do you, Maria del Carmen? Do you have yours ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. Can you share? Okay, uh, first I sanitize my hands and my shoes. Uh, then the security take my tem temperature. 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 After that, I check check in my attendance. Then, uh, for example, check out. Um, Check the checkout, arrivals, and pending departure. Afterward, I check my email and I give them an uh, answer. Then I count the pity couch, uh, cash, uh, la caja chica. Yeah, pity cash. Pity cash. And finally, I go home. Good, nice, nice. May I have one more, one more person to explain uh, what the process is in your work? One more. 
Only one. Only uh, one. Teacher? Yes, Coralia? Yes, hi. <laughs> we make, uh, we work on a, uh, una tarea en específica. Okay, uh, an specific task. I guess, in a specific task uh, for our work. Okay. We work on a uh, how to open a bank account. Okay, good. Yes, I start. First, he sent a request to the company. After that, he received and checked the documents. Next, he introduced, he introduced information to the system and print the documents. Afterward, he visited the client and sent the document to the records unit. After that, they make a review and send the documents for edit the suggestion that they give him. Finally, he finally the count is active and he, he is communicated to the client. Okay, good. So finally, the account is active and he communicates with the client. Yes. Very good. Nice. Very good. Thank you. All right. Congratulations to the ones that uh, volunteered and participated. Um, any questions about the last exercise? Questions, questions? No? Okay. So um, it's yes, not Coralie? Uh -huh. Question. It's not a problem that we use afterwards uh, and after that a uh, lot of times in a, in a little paragraph. Okay, uh, that's the idea of having after, then, later, and next. So the idea is when you are explaining something, you don't repeat the same word again and again. So first you call the bank, then you fill up the papers. After you give them to the teller. Um, next, you expect a phone call. So, and, and, and the, the, the question is, uh, whenever you are explaining something, whether it's something short or something long, the idea is that you guys use variety of vocabulary and that's why you have uh, those synonyms. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, anybody else has uh, any questions or, or comments? No? Okay. So if you say after something, after, after that, you you put the water in the fridge. Next, you put, uh, that's no problem. No, it's not that a problem. I'm so close. No, so remember, the, when you're starting a, an explanation of, of a process or a story, you need to start with first. You finish with finally. Now, the words that you have between first and finally, they can be, placed in different positions and that's not a problem so uh, we can even i know that is for for uh, expand our vocabulary right you can say after that you make this and after that you can do this and after that even if 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 you have the the other words you can use it like sure like sure that. yes you can you can say after that after that after that or you can say next, 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 but you sound repetitive. And the, uh, idea, yeah, yeah. and the idea of giving you synonyms is that you use variety of vocabulary. Teacher. Yes, Luis. In the English, it exists the cacophony. What is it? Cacophony. Cacophony? What is cacophony, Luis? Cacophony is que repita la palabra. Uh, if, if, and that's why, that's why they give you variety of, 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 of words. So you don't sound repetitive. Okay. Cacophony. I never heard that word before. Cacophony. I'm going to read this word. So, uh, I mean, like going back to the question Samuel and Louis said, uh, you can repeat the word and people will understand what you're saying 
but it's recommended that you use variety so you don't repeat yourself. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Okay. Uh, any other questions or comments? No. No. Okay. Can you see the page that I'm sharing with you right now? Page yes. twenty-one. Yes. Okay, so yes. I'm, I'm going to read the dialogue so you guys pay attention to pronunciation. If you have any questions with vocabulary, you let me know. So it starts like this. We need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Wouldn't it be better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu. Actually, it would be better if we include the server's dress code and appearance in the first chapter. Any questions about a uh, uh, definition or pronunciation of vocabulary? Servers is like uh, serviente. Uh, waiters and waitress. Los que sirven la comida. Waiter okay. and waitress, yes. Someone else has another question? No? Okay, so let me make sure before I forget. Sophia Stephanie is absent. Josue Edgardo is absent. And Jimena Alexandra is absent. All right. So, any questions about the, the conversation? No. No, teacher. No? Okay, so let me write this here. Okay. So, let me take a picture. When do you use the expression wouldn't it be better? When do you use that expression? Mm -hmm. So imagine that you're not feeling well and your wife or your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, they tell you, wouldn't it be better if you check with a doctor? Okay, wouldn't it be better? No sería yes, you just no sería, you just no suggestion. Suggestion. Uh huh. Wouldn't it be better? So imagine that you start your car, and when you start your car, you hear noise, and then uh, the passenger tells you, uh, "Wouldn't it be better if we call a mechanic?" Mm -hmm. So you use this to give uh, suggestions. So. You guys will be working in pairs, so you guys can practice the uh, this conversation. Uh, move to room two. Move to room three. Move to room three. Move to room seven. Move to room seven. Now we will exchange. 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 <laughs> Exchange. All right, so loading, loading, loading. Mm -hmm.
Ah, perdón. No. Would, would not. Would not. O teacher. Wouldn't. 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 Oh, Wouldn't. Okay. Wouldn't. Now remember, we use that expression when we're giving suggestions. So imagine that you receive extra money in your office. So it says, huh, wouldn't it be better if I put it in the bank? I, okay. It would be better if I invested in a good project. Just an example. The pronunciation is difficult uh, to me. Would be. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't Would it be better? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yes. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Yes. Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Uh huh. Wouldn't it be better? Yes. Very good. Very good. Nice. About how service should get. The customer, and after that, how they knew the present the menu. You do it great. Just in the beginning, you said you have to say, "Will it? Will it be better? Will it?" I know that it's very difficult, but try to say it slow. Be better. Suena como traba lengua. Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Be better. Wouldn't it be better? Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't it be better? No sería mejor. Wouldn't it be better? So my suggestion is, wouldn't it be better if you practice that particular pronunciation? So wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Okay. So uh, Jimmy says, it sounds like a tongue twister. Yes, mm -hmm. because it's uh, the pronunciation is not too easy. So, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better? Aha, uh -huh. wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Good, very good. Se ha, se ha incluido en el capítulo uno. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Porque en, la, en, en el... En el En el, en el penúltimo. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, do you have any questions about the conversation? Mm. Pronunciation or the definition of words? Pronunciation. Which pronunciation? Word is appearance, I would think. Um, where are you? Oh, appearance? Appearance. Appearance. How many syllables do you hear in the word appearance? Appearance. Four? Appearance. Appearance. Three. Three is correct. Because when you pronounce the word, you only hear... Three vowels, a, e, e, appearance. So you have three syllables. Okay. Appearance, appearance. Yes. Appearance. Teacher, is is pronounced propose or propose? Propose. What propose. do you propose? What do you propose exactly? Okay. What do you propose? Good. Phone. Buscando keep. No, I don't know. Sigue buscando keep. For it is to look. I don't know. But you can say keep searching or keep looking. Uh, they are synonyms. Okay, mm. keep searching your dreams work. Exactly. <laughs> keep searching for your dream work. For your dream works. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and, and you know, sometimes that's the only solution that we have. 
because nobody's going to come to your house and offer you something. So you have to look for the for your dream job. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. But some um thought, some doors. Tocar algunas puertas. What is it? Tocar algunas puertas, no no sé. Oh, knock doors. Knock doors. Yes. Yeah, knock and doors. Can, and you can you can knock doors. Right, right. Because uh-huh. Yeah, so you no. have to you have to knock on doors because uh, it's very difficult that a company is going to come to your house and knock on your door and say, Francisco, <laughs> are you interested in working? No. So you have to look for your dream job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So that's that that's good. You know, keep looking for your dream job. Keep looking for your dreams work. Good, very good. <laughs> Yo algo es que tengo como request, requested. You have an I allergy, know. Wendy? Yes, I am. A, I have a allergy. Yeah. All the week I be sick. Okay, and especially if you are in an open space like I see in your house. No, it's not like for my house. It's more like a face mask. Oh. The, um, because I don't know, pero por las motitas. Uh -huh. Es como que si me la cambio, me da alergia. Y aunque ando así todo el día, vengo en la noche y siempre ando con, con alergia. Pero hay días que me da como más fuerte que otros. Ok. Uh -huh. so, so, before the emergency, you didn't have that allergy? Before yes. the emergency. I... Siempre padeció de alergia, pero oh, okay. por usar más la mascarilla me da como un poco más fuerte. Uh -huh. o más consecutivamente que antes. Yeah, more frequent. Yes. Ok. ¿Do you drink a lot of water? Yes. Yeah. Because uh, before, no, before I had the bear. Exactly. <laughs> eh, no. Eh, after I took my pills, I need to talk a lot of water. Right. Es como que por la pastilla me da más de hacer. Right, right. So when you go to sleep, do you have water near you? No, por la pastilla una vez me acuesto. I Until can't. the next day. Sí. Oh, okay. Well, but at least you sleep well. You don't have interruptions. <laughs> I think uh, all the person we uh, we have aller allergies. Uh -huh. We always sleep well because for the contents of the pillows. Uh huh. Of the pills. Right. And some medicine is uh, stronger than others. Yes, because the loratarina. I can talk loratarina because he don't do me anything okay so you need something stronger than that yes is the chlorpheniramina okay uh, yeah, la única que me ayuda. okay all right so i hope you feel better wendy thank you teacher the, the first time okay entonces sería actually it will be it will be better is we include the server dress cool and cold 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 and appearance 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 in the first chapter okay uh, when you say appearance try to do it slow a p r e n a p r e n s appearance Appearance. in the first chapter. Teacher me cuesta chapter. 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 Sí. Es que le meto un R. 
chapter, no sé por qué. Chapter. Yeah. But, but chapter is a, it's a very, uh, it's a short word and it's usually easy to pronounce uh, to people. So chapter, chapter, a chapter. Tengo dislexia. Ok. Le, le, meto, le, le meto la R antes, digo chapter. Ok. Oh. Yeah, chapter, chapter. Uh -huh. and, and it's normal because, uh, you know, English is not our first language. So sometimes when we read, we include letters that don't exist or we omit uh, certain sounds. Sirve que haga planas, teacher. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, any any practice that you do with the language, writing, reading, listening, speaking, any practice is good. Okay. And, and especially because everybody has a different way of learning. So maybe writing is good for Stephanie. Maybe speaking is good for Jimmy. Maybe reading is good for me because everybody learns in a different form. So... If you feel well writing, go ahead and do it. Okay, thank you. Sure, sure. Oh. <laughs> but if to, you to... practice, it'll improve your pronunciation. Yeah. In this case, if she, uh, she can speak English, she can help you a lot. Your yeah, girlfriend that's is bilingual, <laughs> Ronald? Yeah, teacher. Okay, so you say you practice. You, no, I I told her um, I told Mercy that never never speak with her because I I felt a little bit shame. <laughs> so I know that my pronunciation is awful, but no, it's not sometimes awful. I try, but sometimes I try to speak with her. Uh huh. Good, good. But, but could be a good idea. Sure. You know, because many times uh, people, like some of your classmates, this is the only space that they have to practice. They don't have anybody at home. So if you have a person in your house that speaks the language, you should take advantage of that and, and speak with this person. Yes. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So it, you, you take advantage of, uh, of, uh, of the situation. <laughs> right? What are you, Sarah or Walter? Uh, whatever. Uh, I'm Sarah. I will be Walter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train or stuff. What do you pro propose? Propose. 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 Yes, propose. What do you propose? First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Uh, would it be better if chapters... Chapter? Uh, chapters? One is about how servers should treat the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu. I will be running too. No. No. You. Aha, <laughs> Rene. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I could, I could be better. <laughs> it will include the server dress code um, appearance in the, in the fear cheaper. Chapter. 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 Okay. Chapter. Okay. Okay. So remember, when you say, wouldn't it be better, is because you're giving suggestions. You are telling the other person that you think it's a good idea if you do something. Mm -hmm. So, wouldn't it be better? Okay. All right. So, I think it's almost time to go back. Okay. All right. That they they go to the doctor because uh, it's totally rarely rarely that she has and oh. well I have to go 
when he go to the she go to the doctor. <laughs> Who are you talking uh, about? Excuse me. Who are you talking about? Uh, Coralie asked me if I work every day or one day yes, one day not, and I told. Yeah, I'm told her that it's that is difficult for me because uh, my coworker is sick and uh, she have to to go to the doctor and I have to go to work and one okay. day I don't know every other day. Do you see the chat? Yeah. Okay. Every yes. other day means un día sí, un día no. Every ah. other day. Yeah. Okay. Every other day. Like like Ma like Maria, you know, uh, she works mm -hmm. nighttime every other mm -hmm. day. So she works today, she uh, gets to rest tomorrow. Work. Right. Oh, yeah. She works until Saturday again. On Saturday. Right. Okay. So let's Thank go back you. to the main session. Okay. okay. Goodbye, Cecilia. Okay, did you guys see the chat? The chat in the platform? Did you see the expression every other day? Do, do, do you see the chat? What is the last expression that I wrote? Can someone answer that? El well, we, what is the, the, the question? Uh, the last thing that I wrote in the chat, in the chat Every in the platform. Every other day. Every other day. And Rocio, what's the meaning of every other day? Un día sí, un día no. Exactly. One day yes, one day no. Okay. So <laughs> in English you say every other day. <laughs> so that means uh, if you, uh, like Maria del Carmen, how do you say turno nocturno in English? Maria del Carmen night is shift. Work, Okay, night shift. So Maria del Carmen is working night shift. And if you ask her, Maria del Carmen, how frequent do you work night shift? She would answer, I work night shift every other day. Un día sí, un día no. How do you say un sábado sí, un sábado no? One Saturday, yes. One Saturday, no. Oh, every other Saturday? Every other Saturday? Yes, every every other Saturday. How do you say un año sí, un año no? Other, every other every year. Other. Every other year, exactly. Every other year. Every other year. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today's class? Yes. How do you write night shift? Night, night shift. shift. Let me write it for you. Does anybody know the other term to say night shift? Night hey. shift. Night shift. Now shift means turno. I search in Google. Uh-huh. <laughs> the slave. <laughs> So night shift has a nickname and the nickname is graveyard. So oh, right yeah. now Maria del Carmen is working graveyard, which graveyard. means night shift. Yes. All right. Any other questions or comments class? Graveyard. Graveyard. So some you people. Okay. Samuel <laughs> wants to go to sleep. <laughs> Me too. All right, so thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. Good night, everyone. Thank you. All right. Good night. See you later. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.